backs, certainly two of the best in the business. What's good, you do? It's your boy SMTD Drizzy here, and as you can see, I'm playing Mutt, but not to play Mutt. I'm playing Mutt because I have played enough Madden that I feel obligated to do a Madden 20 review and talk about no way no way no way nope get out of bounds uh i feel obligated to do a madden 20 review and talk about the things that i like and talk about the things that i don't necessarily like now was the wrong play. um so the madden itself is no not me dog uh madden itself is beautiful the game looks spectacular I mean, they somehow make the graphics look better every year. Somehow. And it surprises me time and time again. Now, the game runs flawlessly. Like, I have no problem with the game at all. Never had a problem with it in the first place. Oh, jeez. Um... But there are some, like, underlying issues with the game, in my opinion. Like, Pocket League doesn't... Pocket Lead. Pocket Lead doesn't work. The perk for, like, Tom Brady and Phillip Rivers. It doesn't work, but everyone's already told them that, that, it, that it's, like, broken. So they're, they're working on fixing that. And X-Factors in general are kind of broken. All of them are like seriously OP. Like I never thought I'd ever say that, <clears throat> but every last one of them are OP. If you if you have a quarterback that has an X factor at all, no matter what X factor, all of the quarterback X factors are OP. Like Bazooka on um on a. Patrick Mahomes, the one that literally everyone should know about. Everyone knows about that one. But that one is the is really OP just because of the way his team is built. Um, how his team is built with Tyreek Hill and all these fast receivers. And then you have other ones like Blitz Radar from, um, from uh, Russell Wilson. And his is a little bit less OP than the rest of them. And it's still kind of broken. I kind of don't believe that. But, um... And then, and then, you, and then you have other X-Factors that aren't quarterback X-Factors. You have, um, first one's free for... Well, I know Cam also has that one, so that, that one is kind of not a good example. But first one's free means you have a high chance of, uh... A high chance of getting, mis making them break the first tackle, basically. So that that one is kind of a really, really OP, really, really OP um, thing because, say it's fourth and one, or f not really fourth and one. No one really goes for fourth down. That's just me. Um, but say it's third and one on the one yard line, and, and your player's hot. You can just hand him the ball, and he's gonna get in there pretty much every time. Now, as you can see, my Travis Kelsey, he has a star under his name. He doesn't have an X factor, but he does have an ability, which is the other thing that the players can have. And some abilities are holy, are like elite. Like the one that I have in Travis Kelsey is matchup nightmare, which makes his route running and his catching higher on, on uh, linebackers, which you might be thinking, Oh, geez. That's not that good for a receiver that is not good. But for a tight end who gets guarded by countless linebackers, that is probably the greatest thing that you could give him. Like, every time they run man, it's almost impossible to stop um, Travis Kelsey. Now... The abilities are kind of not a problem with any of the abilities. They're not, like, mad toxic, except for armbar. 
and uh, the ones that the ones that increase your ball carrier moves are kind of OP. I'm lagging. Great. Don't hit stick, bud. But the the ones that increase your ball carrier moves are kind of broken, but broken to the way to the point not really broken. They're just kind of OP, but not really OP. But there's one that's there's this one ability for quarterbacks. I could not tell you the name of it. Uh, it's like out of pocket something. Uh, shoot. It's it. I know Patrick Mahomes has this, where he can sprint out of the pocket and the ability activates and he throws perfect accuracy. Not no, not no half accuracy, not better accuracy, perfect accuracy. Same with, there's also an inside the pocket version for like Tom Brady and, you know, the pocket QBs. Now this year, I'm so happy that they got rid of the stupid spin move. It now people are actually like using the juke moves and comboing moves together, and people are like ISO and like this is 2K or something. But ooh, nice uh, it leads for much better games, in my opinion. I just feel like the games are much smoother. Ooh, he got me. That's a pick. Ah, oh, come on, CJ. Um, but. Like, like, I'm, like I'm saying, the X factors kind of OP. Now, I'm done with running back X factors because all of them are basically the same, except for who's um, satellite on Alvin Kamara. Basically, it just makes him a good receiving back. That's the only. That's all that does is make him a really good receiving back. Um. Uh, shoot. Let me think of another really OD one. Oh, receivers. Every last one of the receivers ones are broken. You got double me, which means they win aggressive catches against single coverage, which means that you win single you win single coverage like every time you throw it up to them. Right? And all you have to and and then um you have rack me, which is just they win rack catches on single coverage. And then you have... I didn't mean to run the same play again. And then you have... Um, max security, I believe it's called, which is wins possession catches on single coverage. And I want to see how that one works. I've seen double me and I've seen rack me, but I have not seen how... Um, I ran quick slants. Really? Uh, I haven't seen how max security works. Max security really isn't a, a wide receiver one. That's uh, I think Zach Ertz has it. The tight end for the Eagles. I believe he has it. I'm not 100% certain. I think he might be like the only person that has it. Now, the offensive ones aren't the ones that scare me. I'm not gonna. Did he hold that? Oh no, he dropped it. The offensive ones really don't scare. Me. Uh, it's the defensive ones that truly scare me. Now you have pick it off. Thank you. I didn't, what? Okay, so you have you have run stopper, run stuffer. I mean, thank you, thank you, Brandon Williams. Run stuffer, which I haven't actually seen run stuffer work. Like I've never used it, but I have had it used against me, so I know how it works basically what it does is he sheds off blocks faster and on run plays obviously he sheds off run blo run uh, run blocks faster and can basically get in the backfield in like three seconds it's kind of amazing. i could not I mean, I don't run the ball often anyway, so it wasn't that bad. But when I did run the ball, it was kind of off. Now, um, there's another one called uh, Fearmonger, which is the one that Von Miller had. Oh, oh my gosh, 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 I hate, hate that. Every time he gets hot, he basically just makes it to where 
he can pressure the QB without even being close to the QB. Like, while he's engaged with blockers, he can pressure the QB, which is kind of toxic. It is a brand of toxic. It is annoying. Vaughn Miller, I don't like you. Um, now, there's another one that's pass rusher, which is unstoppable force, which means he sheds pass blocks faster. So it's the opposite of run stuffer. Not really the opposite. It's the same thing as run stuffer. Except instead of shedding off of run blocks, you shed off of pass blocks. Now, let's think. Uh, the QB, I mean the QBs, the cornerbacks, they have some pretty good ones, but they also have some garbage ones. I'm not going to lie. Uh, Zone Hawk is really, really good. Shutdown is really, really good. And what's the other one? There's another one. Um, actually, I think the DBs are the ones that are fine. All of theirs are kind of just, they increase their interception rate and other things like that. Oh, I was about to crack him. Um, I think all of the DB ones are fine. Now that I'm thinking about it, I think it's the safety ones. Safety also has zone hawk as well. But Harrison Smith for the Vikings has reinforcement, which I have not seen it used yet. I've never seen anyone use it. It might not be good. That might be the reason why. But it sounds good. It sounds like it's both run and pass defense. The way that they make it sound, because it's like he sheds blocking faster when he's blitzing, and he increases knockouts, which kind of makes me kind of scared to play against the Vikings. But, but um, B1s, they just, they just increase, knockouts increase knockouts and ints. That's all they do. Literally all they do. Um, I missed a few good quarterback ones. Um, Aaron Rodgers, is his makes it to where he can only be picked off by users, which I want to see how that's used against CPU. Like, I want to see how, like, the CPU does that. Because I don't feel like... I don't feel like it's going to work on the CPU. If you know what I mean? Like, if you run him against CPU, does that just mean he can't pick up? That's what that's telling me. And then, I don't know if anyone else has that one. I just know that he has that. And then you have... You have... Um, people like... Ooh, I bust that. Um, you have people like uh, Drew Brees who when they get hot, they basically throw perfect accuracy with pressure. And Jesus, it's kind of scary. Now, the Saints have the most X-Factors out of every team. They have four. You can have three on offense and three on defense. I, yes, you can have three on offense and three on defense. So, basically... How it is in Mutt, what you want to do is you want to have a QB, you want to have a, a line, uh, not a lineman, uh, a running back if you like to run. And if even if you don't like to run, still give him a running, still give, give it to your receiver. Because why not? You got to get there faster. Now, um... Um, if we're talking about, and then on defense, you just want to give it to a pass rusher and then a DB, and then I would probably give it to another pass rusher, I'm not going to lie, or a linebacker, he, he got that tutty, inaccurate throw, thank God. Um, now, if we're going to talk about gameplay, QBs that are under 80, not like under 80 throw accuracy, bruh, they are god awful. If they don't have 80 throw accuracy in all of their stats, bruh, you're not throwing. You're not, th like, they give you a starter Matt Ryan, a 72 overall Matt Ryan. And his throw stats are ho horrible, god awful, right? Boy, I mean, when I mean to tell you you cannot gain yards with Matt Ryan, you cannot gain yards with that Matt Ryan. He just does not allow you to gain yards. He throws incompletions more than he throws completions. And it's sad. It is, it is hilariously sad. But um, 
80 is the threshold, so like if somebody doesn't have a good trucking stat. Oh, are you serious? That's so lame. Um, 80 is like the threshold right now, currently speaking. It's where you want. It's where you want every stat to be. Like if your quarterback has 80, he throws normal. He throws some incompletions, but not always incomplete. Um, now I will say this: that one play that I've ran like four times, tight end attack, is really OP. Like, oh, I'm busting this. Like, when I mean really, really OP, it's really OP. Like, I haven't really found a better play so far. I mean, I've only been playing, like, solo challenges and every so often playing an actual mutt game. But I've never found, I have not found a better play. It might just be because of my Travis Kelsey, which he, he covered that pretty well. But it may just be because of my Travis Kelsey that the play is so good. But I have not found a better play. And this guy actually has found a pretty good play too. That double move play is not bad. I just don't like them. I just don't like double moves. It's not a bad play though. Got him up. Three, three, three. Three, six, six, eight, four, fumble. Okay. We're good. Now, I will say this. Post routes are oh freaking P this year. But it's kind of better than PA crossers. Because you can at least use her, cover a post route. PA crossers, you really, it was hard, you could do it. Yeah. Now, this year, there isn't much problem with throwing deep passes. Like, everyone said at the beginning of the game that there's not going to be very many deep passes, but I haven't had a problem throwing deep passes. I, you just cannot throw contested deep passes. On, simulate, on anything above arcade, you're not throwing a deep pass. Like, throwing a contested deep pass. Go, Tom. Do I? Um, yeah. But other than that, I really don't have a problem with the game. Uh, QB1 is amazing. It is amazing. Um, my player, I'm not going to tell you what, when I got drafted. I'm not going to tell you because that's up for another video. But usually you, you can get drafted later if you lose your games or higher if you win your games and do good in the draft combine, which I thought was pretty cool. And yes, we tested it. It's not not everyone gets drafted 26. I, I don't know if anyone, because everyone I've watched on YouTube has went 26. Um, we have tested it. And we found out that you can go number one and that you can also go in the seventh round. So you, you can get, get drafted pretty much whenever. Now, that aspect is amazing. I But I want Isaiah Streets on my NFL team because screw all that. He was the greatest receiver I've ever thrown to, without a doubt, in my, in my mind. Sorry for the hiccups, y'all. Better get that. Atta boy. Now, he might leave. Shoot, I wasn't done yet. Um, he did. So we're going to get on to a second game. And I'm going to, as you can see, George Kittle has racked him up. He, basically. But um, we're going we're gonna to look. I'm going to go look at, um, we're going to go to the X Factor screen instead of playing another game. So that way I can show you more X factors. All right, look. All right, so here's all of the X factors. All right. Unstoppable force, pass rush wins lead to quicker block shedding, which means if he gets Oh wait, pass rush wins. Oh, that's interesting. And some of these like reach elite are really really good cuz he can tackle and sack while engaged with blocker. So that's really really good. Now of course, he also has edge threat. So, Khalil Mack is going to be scary. We've already known that Khalil Mack is going to be scary. A lot of people have the Bears in consideration of, like, one of the best teams in the game. If it wasn't for Mitch Trubisky having below 80 accuracy, they would probably be the best team. And then Aaron Donald has Fearmonger, right? Not only does he have Fearmonger, he has under pressure, which means that, Jesus Christ, Aaron, you really just don't want the quarterback to throw. And he's a pass rush elite, so that just means he's going to be in the backfield pretty much every single play. 
Now, B- Bobby Wags has shutdown, which means he's got tighter coverage and more int on contested catches. Which he also has the really, really, really broken um, uh, perk enforcer, which means your hit sticks guarantee tackles, which obviously you can read, but you don't realize how OP that is. If you put that on a linebacker and mutt or anything that has like really high hit power, you're pretty much forcing fumbles. And then, wow, he even has... Okay, so basically, basically Bobby Wags is, is tackling no matter what because he has tackle supreme. Now, 99 overall, DeAndre Hopkins has double me, which is terrifying. I kid you not, it is terrifying to play against this team because as soon as, as soon as he makes that throw and he's hot, you're not coming down with it. And, of course, he has improved catching versus single coverage in red zone. And he has better route running on post and corner routes, which are the two best routes in the game so deandre hopkins is just an overall good player so if you want to play with a good team play with the texans because they also later on you'll see they also have really good defensive ones now you got double me for julie julia julio really julio jones he also has post flag elite and he also has in and out elite this is my favorite player in the entire game to play with hot like without a doubt this is the best player for me. I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna lie. I run way too many in routes and way too many out routes and way too many post routes. But but he's also probably not the greatest receiver for me though, because there's another receiver ability that allows them to have more hot routes. Which I'm trying to find which one that is. Now shut down enforcer tackle supreme, so baby uh, baby uh really? Just like Bobby Wags, and then you have Antonio Brown with rack em up. His is so OP because he has wide receiver apprentice. You can hot route him into a post route on every play. And then not only that, as soon as he catches the ball, you can, you can juke with him like he says, grab and go. Um, you can basically just do everything. And now there's also a running back and I believe a tight end version of uh, wide receiver apprentice, halfback apprentice. And tight end apprentice, which does the same thing, and I, I, I at least know that the running back one has one because I know uh, Alvin Kamara has it, and those are really good perks to have. Now Von Miller, like I said, fearmonger. He also has edge threat, which is the same thing that Aaron Donald had, but instead of instead of um, having reach elite like some of the other guys have, which I haven't had, I haven't seen a linebacker have it yet. He is strips a specialist absolutely brutal that basically literally it doesn't it says reduced but it literally doesn't like it doesn't affect the, the tackling penalty like you don't have a tackle penalty when you're trying to strip so basically Miller, Miller, Miller goes goes for a toy tackle strip as long as you have the perk in front of them, just go for strips it's not even it's not even funny it's really aggravating now he has four perks the higher your overall, like, I know all these guys are really high overalls, but in franchise, the higher your overall, the more perks you could have. Same with QB1. So let's go through all of his. He has Bazooka, which I've already explained Bazooka, and I've already explained Dashing Deadeye, which is, which is the perfect accuracy while running outside the pocket. Holy crap. He has Red Zone Deadeye, which is perfect pass accuracy while throwing in the red zone. And then he has no look dead eye, which is perfect pa- pass accuracy on cross body throws. So when he's and he has in, he has an escape artist, which is an improved scrambling speed behind the line of scrimmage. So when you're playing with Patrick Mahomes, basically what you do is is you scramble and throw the ball, scramble, throw the ball, scramble, throw the ball, scramble, throw the ball, scramble, throw the ball. That's all you got to do. Now Todd has first ones free, uh, high fake out chance on next juke spin or hor- or or hurdle and he also has arm bar which i was talking about earlier which basically gives you stiff arms when you throw them six feet deep it's ridiculous uh outside outside zone guru which is stronger blocking on outside zone plays which which is really good for me because i literally only run outside zone plays when i'm running um jj watt like i said great pass rusher for the texans fear monger strip specialist and edge threat elite 
Wow. Edge throw elite. Dominant pass rush moves and increased QB pressure. Terrifying. And you know, you know, they gotta give it to Odell. Odell got rack him up. I thought he would have um double me just because of his amazing catch, but he does he does rack catch or he does gain a lot of yards. He, he does make aggressive catches as well, but he also gains a lot of yards. He has jukebox factor faster juke animations, like I was saying. Those ones right there, like that, and then there's another spin one, are really, really OP, and he also has grab and go. Now we got Travis Kelsey with double me. Double move elite, which for me, that's not good, but for most people, that's kind of scary, but he also has in and out elite, and for tight ends for me, that's really good. Travis Kelsey is just all around a beast. They got Fletcher Cox with Fearmonger, and we already know what Under Pressure does. Power, power specialist, faster power move animations during pass rush. So he's going to be in the backfield way faster. And shut down Jalen Ramsey, my man. He has universal coverage, which improves, obviously, improves coverage and catch knockouts in man and zone. So basically, he can, he can play whatever, which is so true because, I mean, the Jags are just a scary defense. I played against them with the Dolphins, and it was awful. Um, but he also has Acrobat, which is really fun because you get diving picks like you saw in my game where I got that diving pick with AJ Boye. Um, which also means that normally, normal players without this perk cannot get diving swats or picks. Which goes to show that the perks are what you want. Now Tom Brady, of course, you know he's got five. Uh, highlight Pro Reads highlights the first open receiver while in the pocket. It works. It works, and but um, SMTD Fate was telling me that by time that the thing highlights, it's already too late. They're already covered by then. Now he has four additional hot routes on every receiver, which is great. Um, ooh, he also has a conductor, which allows you to do faster hot routing and blocking adjustments, which is lit. He also has clutch, which means. In late close in in late fourth quarter in close games, he has less objectives to get in the zone. And he what the freak? He has protected stronger pass blocking from all offensive linemen. That's kind of ridiculous because their line is juiced. And then you have pocket lead, which, like I said, doesn't work. Um, now you have zone hawk from Earl Tom. Miss the third. Zone Hawk basically just improves. It's basically shut down, but for zone. Now, Pick Artist, he has improved stamina on it returns, which is the reason why he's really, really good for getting pick sixes. And I forgot to note this when I was talking about gameplay. It's really easy to do kick returns and picks in this game. Pick sixes, I mean. Not picks in general. It's kind of difficult to do picks. Not really, but kind of. Like, if you throw it to a corner or a linebacker, he's going to pick it. No matter what. I haven't really dropped any picks. But I will say this. It is harder than Madden 19 to get a pick. Because you don't have super linebackers anymore. That's why I don't even use her linebackers. I use her corners. Because I can bait the quarterback into throwing it to my side and get the pick. Plus, hallelujah for the Raphael Johnson series teaching me how to cover people as a corner. Now, zone dial is really good. That's just basically it increases his reactions and catch knockouts in zone. So if you throw it to Earl Thomas, you're not going to. If you throw it around Earl Thomas, he's not. it's not getting caught. Now you got Michael Thomas with double me. See, he has wide receivers, apprentice, but he also has cross specialist, which for anyone who runs PA crossers is God tier. I honestly didn't even know this person in the game, but it scares me that it is because he has better route running, which means that our DBs are going to get faked out. Oh, that's, that's awful. That is awful. And that's a perk. So he doesn't have to be in the zone for his perks to activate. I don't think I said that at the beginning. But you don't have to be in the zone for your perks to activate. Now we got Philip Rivers, Fro Fearless, which is the same one that Drew Brees has, I believe. 
um, which means that he's not affected by pressure. He also has pocket lead, which doesn't work, but he has lofting dead eye, which is perfect for seeing on lob and touch throws, which... Uh, I don't know if I feel too good about, because I don't really throw lob throws or touch throws. I kind of throw bullets no matter what, pretty much. I might throw touch throws every once in a while, but not really. Now you have sideline, side, side eye, sideline dead eye, which is perfect pack, pass accuracy on throws outside the number. So out routes, cor uh, corner routes, anything like that. So that's really, really good, especially because he has Keenan Allen. Now Zeke. I thought they would give him freight train, but they didn't. I guess that makes more sense because of hurdle. But he also has arm bar and inside. He has inside zone guru, which currently right now the Cowboys are literally are the best team in Madden because their quarterback can is over has over eighty in most of his throw accuracies, so he can get the job done. And they have a lot of good uh, X factors. So first one's free is really good for Zeke. And he has inside zone guru. It's inside zone, if you don't know, is a really broken run play that everyone runs. Now you got Stefan Gilmore. He has man up, which is in, which is the opposite of zoned out. I'm gonna start speeding through these because we're not gonna talk about X factors anymore. Because I think Harrison Smith is the last m major one. Now you have okay. So we've seen all these reinforcement, higher chance to defeat run blocks and disrupt catches. See, like I was saying, sounds like it's both, which sounds like it's gonna be kind of broken. So that, that'll be interesting. Now he has double me. He has slot apprentice. So instead of having wide receiver apprentice, when Adam Thielen is lined up in the slot, then he gets uh, four hot routes. But he also has slot matic which is quicker cuts and improved catching in, from the slot. So when Adam Thielen is lined up in the slot, it's a nightmare for people. And I was right. Zach Ertz does have max security. Like I said, high success rate on possession catches. He also has tight end apprentice, which is four hot routes for tight end, like I said. In and out. Yep, yep. We've already seen these. Pick artist, shut down for Richard Sherman. First one free, jukebox. Pin and pull guru. Stronger blocking on pitch, toss, and counter plays. That sounds awful to me. I don't run pitch, toss, or counter plays, but I've seen them run well. And that sounds awful. Now we do have Andrew Luck, which I didn't know how to next factor. He has pro reads. He has indoor baller, which is reduced zone objectives in domed stadiums, which is really, really not that good because there isn't that. Is there that many? I don't really know about dome stadiums because I don't know how many there are, but if there's a lot of them, that's pretty good. Dashing dead eye, why? Uh, red zone dead eye. Why does he have dashing dead eye? That, that's not why. That's not why I said why. He basically has um, Patrick Mahomes. He's just a baby Patrick Mahomes. Rivers combined. Clays Campbell. Now, I've played against Clays Campbell. Oh, my gosh. Unstoppable Force is terrifying. See, I, th I had to make sure that he had Unstoppable Force before I started talking about Unstoppable Force. It just... It just... They just... Don't they just don't like they blockers don't block anymore against them, but he has the basic moves that everyone has. And his first one's free. He has he's the one has has spin cycle, which is faster spin animations. So that's like jukebox. Now fearless, yeah, I was right. He has safety valve, consistent catching from RBs who beat their coverage. Alan Kamara. And then he has set feet lead, which is extended range on pass or precision passing when feet are set, which um, is actually actually works. Uh, Drew Brees is like is just goaded at all times. Is goaded. Now you have Eddie Jackson, who has the basic things. Uh, Geno Atkins, unstoppable force, kind of scary. I've played with Geno Atkins, and it's really scary. Now, Miles Garrett is pretty scary as well. And then you have Mike Evans with Streak Specialist and Curl Specialist. Streak Specialist, I don't know what's going to happen on the route running. That kind of intrigues me. But he does have really, really good catching. Like, I think like 90-something catching traffic. Which, for streaks, mwah, beautiful. But Curl, that's definitely going to be scary. But it's Curls and Comebacks, so that's going to be really scary. Now, Byron Jones, 
the basic package. Um, Saquon Barkley, he has evasive, which combines jukebox and spin cycle. And then he also has backfield mismatch. Ooh, I didn't know he had this in my franchise. Uh, shoot. Uh, look, he might need to. Uh, look, he might need to find a way to get Saquon. Shoot, that's OP. Better routes and and catching from the backfield versus LBs. That's wonderful, 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 wonderful. Uh, he he has satellite, so basically we get to see it before we see um Alvin Kamara. It wins rack and possession catches versus single coverage, and he also has backfield master, which is more hot routes and improved catching from the backfield, which is wonderful. He's a good. He's a very good receiving back. Run CMC. Um, you got Cameron Jordan. He has run stopper. Okay, that's a new one. Quick block shed and tackles when engaged with run blocks. It's basically run stuffer, just dumbed down. Blitz radar, like I was saying, highlights extra bl blitzers after the ball is snapped. Um, he also has a higher chance to evade the first oh, the first sack from blitzing DBs, which corner blitzes in this game because of how fast DBs are. Is actually really really scary. Um, so this is really really good. I know there's another perk on another quarterback that makes him like. I think it might be Big Ben, where it makes him, like, just... It's this, but instead it's, like, Stonewall, where it's, like, he has a higher chance to invade the first sack in general. Um, ooh. Okay, so I... So, AJ Green with Double Me, Cross Specialist, and Street Specialist. Not bad. Um, Chris Harris Jr., basic. George Kittle. He has Route Apprentice. Four additional hot routes from any receiver position. So even if he's subbed in at receiver, because George Kittle can do that sometimes, he still has the four additional hot routes, which is great. Now you have yeah, you have Gambler. This is the one I was talking about. Can't be accept, intercepted by AI defenders. So you can use or pick him, but you can't let the AIs pick him off. So I want to see how that works. But if I'm thinking how it works, it's kind of broken. But then you have Pat. He has Pass Lead Elite, which were, which is really, really good, obviously. Then you have Alvin Kamara, who has Matchup Nightmare as well. Uh, and then he has okay, so he's just a great, all-around great passing running back, which is wonderful. And this is the guy. This is the guy right here. Demarcus Lawrence is the reason why the Cowboys are the best-rated team until um, Philip Rivers' perks get fixed. And then it's going to be the Chargers because Joey Bosa is terrifying. He also has Finesse Specialist, which I wish he had a third perk and had Power Specialist because then that would be amazing because he would have both of them. Derwin James with Reinforcement. Unfakeable. The decreased chance to be faked out by ball carry moves, which is wonderful to have on a safety because usually that's your last line, obviously. And then you have Juju with Double Me. And then you have Last Ditch, which is um, when he's getting sacked, he basically can just, it's so aggravating. There's a mutt challenge where you have to sack him. And I like failed like 600 times because of Last Ditch. He can basically sack himself when he's getting sacked. And Sleight of Hand is pretty good. He's like, is he the only quarterback that has it? Is he the only quarterback that has it? That, that's kind of weird. But higher use success chance on pump fakes. And pump fakes are new this year where he can, where um, you double tap the button and it pops up a dot. So it's really good for finessing users, which I didn't use any in my game which because I don't have great offensive line and I don't like to stress out myself. Now you have Homer, which is the same as Dome Stadium. I'm not going to talk too much about that. And you have arc Anchored Extender. Oh, wait. No, that's the same thing. Same with blitzing DBs. Hmm. So it's the same thing, just a different name. Then you got Cam Newton, who has fast break and improved ball carrying control on QB design runs, which is wonderful. And I don't know about anchored extender for him, but he has freight train. Increased chance to break next. All right. I had to, I had to let them score because we did not start with the ball. 
But as you can see in the bottom in the bottom corner, it says all I have to do is make five three five yard passes in a row. Which isn't even hard. Like I could run that play two more times and get it. Like I'm gonna run variations of that play and get it. Alright. So that's how that's how like the the um that's how you get in the zone. You can also get in the zone with DBs by getting a pick. I don't know. It's not like with quarter. I don't think you can just throw a touchdown with quarterbacks and get it. Um, I haven't really tried that because none of my quarter or I haven't really like had a quarterback that has it. Now, um. I wonder if you could do that with running backs as well, just score. Now what we're going to do is, is, and I'm not playing on rookie. We are playing on all Madden simulation. And we're going to drop back. Not Hail Mary, but we're going to full uh, uh, four verts or tight end attack. This is the only really play where I can get a single receiver on a single corner. I'm going to lob it. Oh, my. He really didn't pick it off. Okay, so it looks like, nah, if you're playing with the Packers against the CPU, you're good. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, that's broken. But, um... As I was saying, and you can get it multiple times. It's not like a one-time thing. Um, but as like I was saying, I'm not going to play this whole game. But like I was saying, um, shoot. Oh, slow heels. And he fell. Um, Brian. Brian, no. Okay. So I'm getting stomped by the Cardinals right now. But, um. I do know that it's probably the same way for safeties and maybe pick up fumbles for linemen. So maybe you can just score a touchdown. I have not seen it like that. So don't take my word for it. But most of the challenges have doable things. I just don't feel like they have enough because they're so broken. But with that being said, my rating for Madden is definitely like a... Shoot, definitely like a an eighty. Eight out of ten, eighty. Cause there are some things if they patch or if they increase the difficulty of getting uh X factors, the game will go up to at least a ninety. That's a pick. at least a ninety. At least because that way we won't have people. Scrambling and throwing 70-yard dots with Patty Mahomes. Don't even play. Uh, don't even play online right now because it's literally just that. But with that being said, if they do do that, that would be amazing. But they're probably not, so don't expect it. But with that being said, I'm out. Peace. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.